Hey guys, I've seen a lot of confusion over the math behind Artifact's newly announced tournament structure. I'm going to show you a really easy way to do the math and figure out what percent Valve is keeping. Let's start with 64 players jumping into one of the one ticket queues on launch day. Round 1, 32 players win and 32 players lose. Round 2, players are matched in pods of the same rating, so we can see that 16 players move down to 0 and 2 and are out. 16 move up to 2 and 0, and 32 move into 1 and 1, 16 from each direction. Round 3, 60 more players lose out, finishing 1 and 2. 8 players move on up the undefeated side to 3 and 0. 16 players move up to 2 and 1 from 1 and 1, and 8 drop down to 2 and 1 from 2 and 0, putting 24 at 2 and 1. Round 4, 12 players lose out at 2 and 2. 16 end up at 3 and 1, and just 4 stay undefeated at 4 and 0. Round 5, we get our first winners. Two players exit at 5 and 0. That's probably me and you, right? Eight players exit at 3-2, and two, and 10 keep playing at 4-1. and one. Round 6, the final round, our last 10 players split, 5 winners at 5-1, and one, and 5 gets second place prize at 4-2. and two. Looking at the one ticket queue, we see that they pay a total of 64 event tickets to join, or $63.36. Let's add on the prizes for each place, multiply by the winners of each prize, add it up and we get 20 tickets and 19 packs being paid out. That's a total value of $57.80 USD, assuming $2 a pack. This is an 8.78% cut that Valve is taking to keep the servers online. Poker tournaments are run in the range of 5-10%, to so Valve has placed this in the right range to keep the computers running. The value of a pack is where this all falls apart. If you plan to buy and open more packs anyways, great, we're done here, a pack is worth $2 to you. For the rest of us that don't want to open packs, we know there will be a way to convert the packs back into tickets again, but we don't know how that's going to be done or how efficient that will be. This inefficient conversion will make that 8.78% number grow, hopefully not by too much. If we want to look at keeper drafts, things get much more complicated. If you have five packs you are going to open anyways, we can remove those packs from the equation and simplify things down to this. And we see that we get a better value here with only 7.2% house cut. If you don't have packs you want to open anyway, I would recommend sticking with Phantom Drafts for now, as opening a pack will almost certainly result in less value than the $2 the pack costs. Don't buy packs just to join the slightly better queue. If you plan on buying a few hundred dollars worth of packs, you might as well jump into the Keeper queue and enjoy the better EV. Though, on the other hand, rare drafting is going to hurt your win rate, so maybe you are better off in the Phantom queue anyways. It's a tough strategy call. If you like this video and want to see another one like it for the value of a pack next week, please let me know by giving this video a thumbs up, and of course subscribing and ringing the bell if you want to know as soon as that video comes out. I'm Mr. Page, I hope you enjoyed this strategy page on the value of artifact tournaments.